How do I claim my Etsy, Instagram, or YouTube handle on Pinterest? Why do you wanna claim your YouTube, Etsy, or Instagram account on Pinterest? The point is when you are pushing traffic to other channels like Etsy, Instagram, or YouTube, you can then track the analytics within your Pinterest dashboard and see how many impressions, clicks, and video views are in all of the above when you actually have those social media platforms or shopping network connected to your Pinterest account. So. It's not something that is absolutely necessary. If you have an Etsy account, obviously you want to make sure you have that connected. But if you're driving traffic to YouTube or Instagram, for instance, you don't have to have them connected, but it's definitely beneficial to see those analytics and the data to actually see if what you're doing is effective. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to claim those three services inside of your Pinterest. Uh, settings and I'm also going to do a really quick run through of how to claim your WordPress domain as well. So if you're running WordPress, any kind of WordPress domain, or if you have a Divi theme, I'm going to show you both of those. This tutorial is super, super fast. So let's just go ahead and hop right in. All right, let's hop in and claim your Etsy, YouTube, Instagram, and your website on Pinterest. So these days you can actually claim more than one website and you can claim all of those social handles or whatever they are, whatever you consider them to be. So you're gonna go to the carrot over here and go to settings and inside your settings, you're gonna go to claim and then inside of your claim section, you are actually going to have websites, Instagram, Etsy, YouTube, and you can install the Shopify app from here. So you can see here, I have two websites claimed for my business. I have my shop website and I also have my main blog site, my main business site. And then I have my Instagram handle claimed and my YouTube channel is claimed, but you can also claim your Etsy in here as well. And again, install that Shopify app. Now, I don't have an Etsy, so I can't actually walk you through what this looks like, but I do have an Instagram and I can unclaim it and we can reclaim it so you can actually see what it looks like. So let's unclaim these two and let's just claim them again. So you're going to have a pop-up come up on your screen and it's going to say, um, is this you and do you want to allow this? And just click the allow button. It is this easy. And the same with YouTube. It's going to pop up a... Um, page where you're going to sign into your Google account that's connected to your Pinter or your YouTube account and then it will prompt you to then choose it again and you want it to be able to manage your YouTube account done <laughs> so easy okay now if you are looking to claim a website that is on WordPress then you're gonna open up your WordPress website and you are going to go to, you're gonna do this one of two ways. I prefer to do this through my, well, I have Divi, so I use, I use my Divi theme to actually do this, but you can actually do this through a plugin called Simple Hooks. If you go to add new plugin, and this is for any WordPress site. If you do, um, what is it, Simple Hooks? Yes, you have already searched for it before. Simple Hooks allows you to add code to your headers and footers. So Genesis, simple hooks, or you can also do insert headers and footers. And that one's actually on my site already. So let's go to, it will should be in your settings. Um, and then you simply just paste the code that you're gonna get from Pinterest right here. So if you wanna claim your website, you would add the HTML, HTML tag to the head section of your site. So you would take this over here, paste it in, click save changes, and then come back over to Pinterest. And from here, because I already have it claimed, I'm not gonna reclaim it. You would just follow the on-screen steps. So that's how you do that. Now you can also do this through Divi, and I'm not gonna save these changes. So I'm gonna go to Divi and theme options. If you have a Divi site, this is how you do it on Divi. Um, you go to integration here, and then your head uh, is right here. So you would add this to the head of your website and you can already see there's a domain verify here for me. And then you would again hit save changes and then go back to Pinterest and follow the steps on screen. 
This is so crazy simple, it's just not even funny. Now, there are other ways that you can claim your Pinterest domain, but these are the only ways that I do them. So if, if you're not wanting to install a plugin, like insert headers and footers, or if you don't have Divi, then you will need to check your own theme and see what that looks like for your website. So that's how you claim Etsy, YouTube, Instagram, <laughs> And then if you have a WordPress website using Divi or just a WordPress website using insert headers and footers. All right, so that's it. We have claimed the Etsy, YouTube, Instagram, WordPress, domains. Now we have all of our handles, accounts claimed. Now we can see the analytics that we are driving traffic to inside of our Pinterest analytics dashboard. So now you know exactly what to do and you can reconnect those if they ever get disconnected and uh, track the analytics better. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. Let me know what else you would like to learn from me in the comments down below. And if you need more Pinterest marketing tutorials or tips, head on over to the Pinterest marketing playlist and get started right now. We'll see you next time.